Well, hey there. It has been some kind of day today. I got in the car at 6 o'clock this morning. And I got out of the car at 4 o'clock this afternoon. A lot of miles. I was on a, a errand, errand of mercy. A mission of mercy. Something very important that, that had to be taken care of. And the trip took me about 300 miles from our cabin. And I could have made the 300 miles back if I would have pushed myself really, really hard. But we've got this great spot a place called Payne Lake, P-A-Y-N-E, and we thought, what better opportunity than today to pull in here and try out a new piece of kit that we've got. We've had it for a good little bit of time, but never used it, and I'll be showing that to you in this video, and right now I think I'm going to, I was looking to see how much daylight I've got left. I've got plenty of daylight left, but I think I'm going to get out my little alcohol stove and my stand and fix me some supper. really quiet here today. There's only one other camper in the park or one other spot that's occupied. Really peaceful. Get this thing going. This little stick stove can be used with or without the tent pegs. If you've got this piece on the front, it locks it all together so that it can't come apart. This was an idea that I came up with. Nimble Wheel did not have this as part of his design. But what I discovered was that a smaller pot won't fit on it. And so I cut a couple pieces of 3 16th square bar and added that addition to it. And it makes it more versatile. Put a little of this alcohol in there. And I'm going to set that off in there. Kind of carefully. I don't want to spill it. See if we can't generate a spark. Where to use the back of my knife. There it is. Put my little pot stands on the stand. Set that on there and let it start to boil. Stanley, I think it's the Adventurer cook set. A couple of modifications that I made to it is I drilled the holes and put the coat hanger wire bale on it so I can hang it over a fire. I also removed the, the plastic tab. 
and on this lid I drilled a hole that a quarter inch bolt would go through and then I double nutted it from the top and the bottom that way I can set it really close to the fire and that plastic tab doesn't melt on me one other thing <clears throat> I always carry some leather gloves because things get hot this is what we're trying out a two-person backpacking tent they say it's a two-person tent but it'd be pretty close in there folks better be able to get along well river country products something that Shirley found on online and ordered it's got a screen inside screen door a regular outside that closes it up this is a feature that I'm anxious to see how it works uh, provides ventilation I'll use it tonight with the with just a screen I don't think I need to close up the outside door we'll see how that how that works and it simply uses two hiking poles one on each end one of the reasons that I chose to set up here a, a year ago Shirley and I set up there. But we had a much larger tent. And one of the reasons I chose to use this spot is because it's not been used in a long time. I mean, there's, there's no sign of anybody having used it recently. The table has all kinds of pine straw and stuff on it. Had a neat little experience as I was sitting there getting my my gourmet ramen noodles going. Something kept buzzing by me, and I got to watching, and the it was red wasps. So I, invest, I investigated, and they're up in that hole underneath that seat. So I very gently got my hiney up off of that board and moved away to finish cooking my gourmet ramen noodles. Instead of using both packets, I used two packets of the noodles to just one packet of the seasoning mix. The only way this could be any better is if, is if Mrs. David Crowley outdoors was out here with me. That's coming up soon, too. One thing I'm going to do before I take this out again is replace the black tie outs for something more visible black cordage at night is practically impossible to see even with a good light it, it doesn't stand out I'll use some paracord something really bright colored to improve on that Overall, I'm happy with a little rig, something that we picked up off the internet. I don't know where Shirley found it, but she found it. And it's something that's budget friendly, or we would not have purchased it. We originally got it. Uh, we were planning on a, on a hike up on a mountain 
to a particular spot and that didn't pan out for us so we've got it in our gear and I assure you this thing will get used. This was a really pleasant stopover, and uh, looking forward to getting back up here. It's a beautiful place. Next up on our list of things is uh, next weekend. We're planning to camp at the Open Pond campground in the Conecuh National Forest in the recreation area and the primitive camping area. We've got an event of sorts scheduled with a group of people and uh, there'll be a very uh, needful, interesting, important block of instruction Saturday afternoon that'll be given by a good friend of ours that will address addressing wounds on the trail and in the woods that need a first responder or paramedic and one is not there and one is not on his way to help you and uh, we're looking forward to that folks I want to say again that we appreciate you watching we appreciate you subscribing and there's more to come we'll see you on the next one